All right, welcome back to 5 Minute Kerbal. This is going to be a shorter video than 5 minutes even. So what we're going to do is we're going to get back down to the planet. We have gone to orbit. We have fired at our our retrograde vector and we are coming back in for a landing. Uh, we might end up in this desert, we might end up in the water. The planet's kind of turning and whatever. So it's a little bit weird, but what we're going to do is we're going to time accelerate. And in fact, we can head out of the map screen and back to our spacecraft screen. Now you saw once we got under 70 kilometers, which is Kerbal's definition of uh, space, it brought us back down to one times time acceleration. So this is real time. So what we're going to do now is, let me double check the map screen. All right, see how our flight path intersects the planet. So I am really, really confident we're coming back home now. So I'm going to go ahead and hit spacebar to ditch this stage. And basically at this point, we're just going to ride home. So I'm going to time accelerate. Once we get, I can't go any faster than four times right now because I'm so close to a planet. Once you're far away from a planet, you can actually go up to 100,000 times time acceleration, which is useful for, you know, going to different planets. Uh, we're crossing under 45K. Once we get down to about 30K, you'll start to see cool reentry effects. Oops. That was my fault. I decided to adjust. <laughs> I decided to steer while we're on time acceleration. That, I was, that always has weird side effects. All right, so there we go. Coming back in, you can start to see reentry effects. Now, these reentry effects look real cool and everything, but there's basically no reentry physics. You're not going to skip off the planet. You're not going to go so fast you burn up. Basically, if you can survive the landing on the on the surface, you're going to survive. There's no the physics are not real specific here. All right. I'm going to put us straight up and down. Time accelerate, and I'll get back to normal speed at about eh, 1,500 meters so I can pop the parachute. Actually, I'm not really sure how far off the surface of the ocean we are right now, so that's all right. Let's see if we can... Oh, there's a shadow. And we are going to come in for a landing. I sped it up a little bit. But we'll be on the ground soon. Okay, back to normal speed. And touchdown. Nicely done, Jebediah. Good job, buddy. How you doing there? Let's see what he says. EVA report. This is a most precarious situation. I agree. Let's let go with the space bar. EVA report. I don't think a spacesuit was entirely necessary to get necessary to get here, do you? Sure. We are going to plant a flag. <laughs> Clipping is funny. All right. First successful orbit. Okie doke. And now Jebediah back inside the command module, please. All right, mouse over up top, recover vessel, and we are done. We are working towards, always working towards a trip to Minmus, one of the moons of Kerbin. So we've got a couple more topics to discuss, but for now, that's all. Next time we'll talk about fuel ducting and staging.